the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour, and we are ready to turn them loose. The young Austin Beers in the 64 will get them going here tonight, and we are underway in the Jersey Shore 150 at Wall Stadium. Lay out for the opening lap. I'll pick it up when they come around. Austin Beers leads lap one. He's able to clear Matt Hurtman and Jimmy Blewett, who run second and third behind him. The Silk starting to walk up a little bit higher. Here comes Kobe, working down to the inside of Matt Hirschman. The battle for third, and Hirschman goes around in turn three. Third caution of the night, and it happened between Doug Kobe and Matt Hirschman racing for the third spot 54 laps in and matt hirschman gets spun in the middle of turns three and four no contact to another car of the wall after he was spinning i'll have to see if there was contact we get a look at the replay and let's see what happened kobe down to the bottom hirschman there and well it's hard to tell from that angle whether or not the two came together you see McCarthy in the 20. He got spun after the fact as well. Dave Zapienza stopped. Hirschman already around on that look as his car goes spinning. Everybody stacked up behind him. Austin Beers has led every lap from the pole, but he's got a new challenger to the outside, and it's Justin Bonsignor in the 51 car. And Bonsignor able to stay even this time with Austin Beers as they head for turn two. Good launch off turn two, and Justin Bonsignor, for the first time today, is able to bypass the 64 of Austin Beers, and we've got a new leader. One slip up, and Bonsignor can go from first outside the top five, and there is Austin Beers. They rub Nerf bars off turn four to the inside lane. Beers going for the race lead. Drives Bonsignor up the hill through turns one and two. And Austin Beers back out in front. Ronnie Silk and Justin Bonsignor now out in the Sparks fly. How this racetrack changes as a run goes on. Caution flag is out, fourth one of the day. This time, multiple cars involved. Anthony Nocella in the 46, and the nine of Tommy Wanick has gone around. The fourth caution of the day, and Austin Beers is out in front in the Jersey Shore 150. So Tommy Wanick making his debut in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour said, I've got a couple of tracks that I want to have the opportunity to run on. Austin Beers goes to the outside. Ron Silk will have the bottom. He's on the front row with an opportunity to challenge for the race lead. Green flag is back out at Wall Stadium, and they are toe-to-toe -to -toe into turn one. Here's Ronnie Silk shoves Beers up the racetrack to take the race lead. Now Kobe slides into second. He'll look to do the same as Beers now stuck in the outside lane, 91 laps in. And these two opening up a healthy advantage over a, a second now advantage back to the third place machine as Kobe again works the inside lane in turns three and four. Slight contact, they come together on the straightaway. Kobe all the way to the bottom and he'll lose 10 car lengths. Silk and Kobe, first and second. Outside lane, Anthony Nosella in the path of the race leader. Kobe makes contact. He goes around in turn three. Fifth caution of the night, and this time, turn three, it's Doug Kobe who spins. He grabs a gear quickly to rejoin the field. 41 laps to go, and while racing a lapped automobile with the race leader, Ronnie Silk, Doug Kobe brings out the caution. Off turn two, trouble. The 64 car of Austin Beers goes around and multiple cars involved. The 58, Eric Goodale, the three, Jake Johnson. They both got damage in the incident. Beers spinning with 18 to go after winning the pole and leading laps early. Brings out the sixth caution of the day. Make it seventh of the day and boy, that is not the way Eric Goodale wanted to end his night, the left front pointed in the wrong direction and stopped at the bottom of turn four. 
Let's get another look at what happened. And it starts with the 64 of Austin Beers and Andrew Krause. You see, they start to check up at the exit of turn two. Krause gets his foot back in the gas as Beers' car was a bit out of shape. You see, the left rear tire, I think, might have been down on the Beers 64. He went spinning. And here comes Jake Johnson just pile driving into that left side of Eric Goodale to knock in that left front sideways. And it is getting down to business. Justin Bonsignor going up against Ron. Bonsignor gives the elbow to Ronnie Silk, shoves him up the racetrack. Silk, though, stays to the outside lane, draws even through turns three and four. Wheel to wheel for the race lead, single file behind them. Bonsignor to the top spot. Caution. Eighth caution of the night, and it is for Thomas Martino, who has spun. Second time he has brought out the caution here tonight. And J.B. Fortin, who is also running inside the top 10, and Max Zakim have come together. And uh, they are trying to do it looks like a, a victory lane donut and maybe disconnect those two race cars seems like the bumper of the 34 is stuck in the nerf bar there it comes free of the 26 of max Ackham and uh, jb fortin's gonna walk away with a front bumper torn off and a left rear tire gone so justin bonsignor has decided to start on the inside lane for this late race restart. Ron Silk up top. They turn him loose. Green flag is out. Silk and Bonsignor, a bit of contact in the start. Five to go. Bonsignor able to get clear. Silk is here, he gives him the bumper. Shoves him up the racetrack. Here comes Ronnie Silk down to the inside lane in the start. Five to go. Bonsignor able to get clear. Silk is here. He gives him the bumper. Shoves him up the racetrack. Here comes Ronnie Silk down to the inside lane. Contact for third behind. McCarthy up to third. The crossover move this time. Bonsignor looks to the bottom lane. He won't hold anything back. These two have created a rivalry this season. Across the line they come. Three to go. Silk wavers a bit in turn two, but Bonsignor is not able to capitalize on it. They come together in turn four, the chrome horn with two to go. Ron Silk, a one car length advantage back to the 51 of Justin Bonsignor. This time off turn four, he'll see the white flag is Bonsignor close enough to challenge. Final time around is Ronnie Silk in command off turn two. For the third time this season, Ronnie Silk has won on the Wheel and Modified Tour, and he's won the Jersey Shore 150.